What's up guys, it's Shaveen and in this video I will tell you guys how you can fix the problem that your Steam is not opening up and you're getting the error that steamui.exe is unable to load. So before I begin with the video, I would just like to tell you guys that if you guys encounter any software related issues, then just comment down below or email us and we'll make a solution video for you guys. Now let's begin with the video. So the first thing I would like you guys to try out is to restart Windows and check whether it fixes your problem. Also check for any viruses that you may have so run your antivirus scan and remove all the malware from your device and it might be also that your antivirus is causing this issue so try disabling your antivirus to check whether it fixes your problem. You can also try disabling your firewall temporarily to check whether it fixes your problem. To do this just go to your windows search and search for firewall and network protection. And then in the domain network, private network and public network, just go to the firewall and then turn it off. Then restart your PC, reopen Steam and check whether it fixed your problem. If it did, you can just re-enable your firewall back. Another very important step is to update your windows to the latest version. And to do this, just go to your windows search and then search for windows update. And then go to windows update settings and then check for any updates that you might have here. And if you have just download them and install them. After you install the updates, then just restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem. Now for the next part, make sure that you end all the steam tasks that are being currently run on your system. And to do this, just go to your windows task bar, then right click on it and then go to task manager and end all the processes of steam. After that, go back to your desktop and then go to recycle bin and check whether you have any steam file for example steamui.ell in the recycle bin because you might have accidentally deleted it and if you did then just right click on it and then restore it then restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem. Now for the next part again end all the steam processes from task manager then go to your steam installation directory. This is where you install steam. In most cases, it is the Windows program files 86, but you might have installed it somewhere else. So just go to your installation directory and then once you're there, delete the package and bin folder. Once you delete it, then just restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem. If it did not fix your problem, then again go to the installation directory of Steam and this time delete steamui.dll and lipscale.dll. After you delete both of these files, then again restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem. If your problem is still not fixed, then the next thing I can recommend you is using command prompt commands to fix this issue. So just go to your windows search and then search for command prompt. Then right click on it and then click on run as an administrator. Once you run your command prompt as an administrator, I link these commands down in the description below for you to check out. For the first part, you have to type in stretch serve 32 steamui.dll command and then the dism commands that is check health scan health and restore health and after that the sfc scan now command and the check disk command so just run the commands in the order that they are listed in after that restart your pc and check whether it fixed your problem if your problem is still not fixed we move on to the next set of solutions so for the next part just again go to your steam installation directory and then locate steam.exe then right click on it and then click on create a shortcut after you create a shortcut just copy and paste it to your desktop and then right click on the shortcut and then go to its properties then in the file path just add in the following space dash client beta space client underscore candidate. I'll link this in the description below for you to check out and then after this run this shortcut and check whether it fixed your problem. If this didn't work you can also try adding space dash no chat UI space dash no friend UI in the path of the Steam's shortcut and check whether that fixes your issue. If your issue is still not fixed we still have two or three solutions to go. The next thing that I recommend you guys is to reinstall Steam. So just uninstall Steam completely from your laptop or your PC and you can do that by using a third party software or just go to your Windows search, 
search for control panel then in control panel go to uninstall a program and then uninstall steam from here and after this i recommend that you reinstall steam in a different hard drive or a, at least a different location and check whether that fixes your issue if that still doesn't fix your issue then i recommend that you update your device drivers so just go to your windows search and then search for device manager once you open up the device manager just go to display adapters and then for all the display adapters that you have here you have to repeat the steps the first thing is right click on it and then click on uninstall device and if it asks you to delete the driver software from this device do not check it and then just uninstall it after that just go to the action tab and click on scan for hardware changes this should bring back the device driver that you just installed back onto the list if it didn't don't worry just restart your pc and it will come back as windows will automatically download it then once it comes back just right click on it again and then this time go to update driver and search automatically for updated driver software then after the process finishes restart your pc and check whether it fixed your problem if it did not fix your issue then again right click on your display adapter and then go to update driver but this time select browse my computer for driver software and then let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer then make sure that you put a check mark next to show compatible hardware and then in the models list just select the first option that you see and then just click on next to install it once the installation finishes then restart your pc and check whether the problem is fixed and if the problem is still not fixed, what you can do is manually download your display adapters from the manufacturer's website. So for example, I have the NVIDIA MX230 graphics card. So I can just go to NVIDIA's website and download the device drivers from their official website. Then just follow up the setup wizard to install them and restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem. The last two solutions that I can offer you guys is to delete everything in the Steam folder. That is the Steam installation directory except the bin file and the ssfn files these are the files that begin with the syntax ssfn and also do not delete the steam.exe file and after you delete everything in the steam folder except these files just try to run steam.exe again and check whether it fixed your problem also you can try downloading the ms regist package from the site which i'll link down in the description below and install the Microsoft Visual Studios files from this installer package and after you install that just restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem and the last step that I can offer you guys is to download the steamui.ell app yourself from the internet so I'll link this site in the description below as well just download the steamui.dll file and then paste it in the steam installation directory and then run steam and check whether it fixed your problem this is the last step because I do not recommend that you do this unless everything else fails. So this was it for this video guys. I hope you liked this video. If it did not fix your problem, do not worry. Just comment down below or email us your specific problem and we can try to make a solution video of that as well. And if it did, just give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more content and comment down below which solution solved this issue for you. And we'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.